And that's how your number alignments function. They occur in moments of shift, moments of transactions, where one phase is completed, but not all the phases are completed. You are still moving towards the conclusion, but a shift just occurred that is part of the progression, but not yet the end of the progression. So don't just say this number means this. Rather, capture the moment beyond just saying the meaning. And then take note of it because that transaction will be a build-up or a countdown to another one, another moment, where there will be another one month or one day or one year, right? You can say, I've been here for one year, nothing has happened. Maybe you need one month more. You can say, I've been here for one year and one month, and nothing has happened. Maybe you need one day more. And you can say, I've been here for one month, one year, and one day, nothing has happened. Maybe it's just one hour more. And you can ask and say, what, what do you mean one hour? God can say, it's not time right now. Your moment of shift has not come. And then one hour later, you hear it's now time. And you're wondering, but today, today, I heard that it is not yet time. I'm still in, you are still building preparation. But now, today, I'm, today, today, I'm hearing, yes, it's not the day they are counting at that time. It's the moment. It's the hour. And that's how these number alignments work. And a lot of people travel through this, and the Holy Spirit is trying to be a witness, but they don't understand spiritual timing and spiritual junction. But right now, spiritual timing is happening to you. As you are hearing this video, the Holy Spirit is prompting up visitations in number alignments that have already occurred in your life, and is giving you a reoccurrence of that spiritual moment so that you can recover it. If you are hearing that, say amen. Say, I recover that time alignment. I recover that time junction. I recover that conjunction of alignment that was to create a shift and a transition in my life, just like the four ones of preparation in Revelation chapter 9, which I may have missed, Father, I realign for the moment of final release so that I don't miss the point of jump, the point of quantum leap, the point of change, the point of shift and takeoff and soaring in new atmospheres of destiny being reactivated or being recreated in my life. Father, I realign and I recover the moments of transition that I didn't number correctly, but now I now realize that those were angelic numberings indicating moments of transaction and transition for my life and for my generation. If you are receiving and operating that, say amen.